Hello, can you hear me now? Oh, yes, you can hear you. My mic was on me, so uh, let's get started, I guess. Because we don't have a lot of time, so uh, I'm going to have to run through the whole process. Oh, this one even sent a message. I want to give me two percent of your share. Not interested. Thank you. Huh? Okay. Yes. Let's get started. Uh, hello, everyone. Thank you for joining this webinar. I'm going to show you how to optimize your LinkedIn, your LinkedIn profile, and in the, so in, this, in the process, attract the attention of recruiters that are looking to recruit people uh, in specific professional fields. So, uh, can you see my screen? Can you see my um, screen? Yes, you can. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That's amazing. Yes, so we're starting from the basics. Uh, I'm sure we all know what LinkedIn is. LinkedIn is a professional uh, net social media site for networking with other professionals in your field, for networking with other, other people, basically in a professional setting. So tonight, we're going to be talking about how to optimize your LinkedIn and uh, be able to attract and get those uh, offers, those job roles automatically. Most of the time, like 50% of the time, I do not apply for jobs on LinkedIn. They're always, they're the ones sending me messages and trying to get my attention to apply for roles, they send me the links themselves, they ask me, send me a CV, this and that. And all this is because I have uh, optimized like my LinkedIn to always attract these kind of attention. So when we're talking about optimizing your LinkedIn, these things, they seem small, but they're actually very important. The first thing, of course, is your profile picture. You cannot put the picture that you're doing as uh, a, a low quality selfie on your profile. It's, it's, it passes across a very wrong message. You have to use something that looks professional. If you need to spend 3000 naira to go and do a photo shoot, please do it. It will pay in the long run. So whatever you need to do to get a nice picture here on your profile, do it. The next part is uh, the header. A lot of people just have their pictures here. They don't have anything on the background. What you put on the header has to show the kind of thing that you're interested in. For instance, I'm a product designer. So I design products, I use UI and UX to design products. And uh, right here, these are the basic fundamentals of user experience. When you're doing user experience research, you define your idea, your prototype, and you test. They are basic fundamentals of UX. So anyone that's looking for a UX researcher or a product designer and comes to my profile and sees something that is okay, this guy is actually someone that is really, really hard going to the UX. It gives them a kind of environment. When you enter into a church and you enter into a mosque, you cannot mistake a mosque for a church. The way it looks, the way it feels, the way everything, the way people behave here, the kind of things you see there will definitely hint you that this is a church. You see a pulpit, you see Bible on top of a pulpit, you see choir stand, you see the minister stand, you understand that yes, this is a church. It's very, very different from how a mosque is organized. That's exactly how your profile is supposed to look like on LinkedIn. You have to give them a kind of vibe that this kind of thing that you do, without them even saying anything. So without them even saying anything, without them even uh, even contacting you, you already know the kind of things they are doing. Because these recruiters, some of them just search randomly, some of them just cast a wide net and look at what kind of fish they are bringing in. So you have to ensure that you use every advantage that you can get to ensure that you get these people to pay attention to your profile. It's very, very necessary. <laughs> Okay, so uh, the next thing is the product designer, uh, your header, your header is the message, so you put your product design, for instance, I'm a product designer, I also do a little bit of illustration, motion design, and show them the fintech, gaming, and web three. Now, this is a very, very important thing that I put in the automatic course. I'm not supposed to be talking about it here, but we all need to learn something here. There's something called keyword optimization when you're setting up your LinkedIn. When anyone searches for Web3, searches for gaming, searches for FinTech and other things like that, it will turn up in those search 
in those search boxes because I have optimized my profile for those particular keywords. I want to get jobs related to blockchain. I want to get jobs related to cryptocurrencies, Web3, gaming, design. I want to design stuff like that. That's why I put these keywords in my profile. So when people search for these kind of things, it, your profile will come up among those that have been searched for. And another hack to this, to making it pop up and uh, rise to the ranks in the SEO, but this is included in the automatic course, which will be released on Saturday. So as you can see, I have 3,000 followers. Not much because, uh, to be honest with you, I do not actually use LinkedIn as much as I should because I have a lot of job offers. I have a lot of things I'm doing from so, yeah. so I don't spend I don't spend uh, as much time as I should on the platform because if I did, I would. In fact, look at it. As at last week, this was just uh, about 3,000. 100 but since i started working on the automatic course i started recording what i am doing so it has grown but i do not even use the automatic process regularly because i have more offers that I, than i can handle so we we'll move on to the next you can see uh where is this look at my last post where i posted this is two weeks ago and look at my analytics where i have 573 profile views when i then post views today it's three search appearances what and i just posted two weeks ago I've not done anything. I've not posted anything on LinkedIn since then. All of this is because I am using the automatic guide and I have optimized my profile properly. These things, if you come to my profile, you will not see it because they are private to me. So these are the kind of stats I get. These are the kind of results I get from using LinkedIn the right way. Uh, then we move on to the featured section. Uh, you, you need to have a featured section in your LinkedIn. For instance, if you're a copywriter, Copywriting involves writing stories, telling stories about brands uh, in, in, the, in order to convince people to carry out a particular action. For instance, buy a particular product. For instance, sign up to a particular program. That's basically how copywriting works. So how exactly can you showcase your copywriting skills here? What the, the copywriting copywriting articles you've done, the, copyright, the write-ups you've written, you can show them on your featured section. Something that is catchy, something, something that uh, calls out people, you put them on a featured section. I'm going through your through your, your, uh, your LinkedIn and I'm just seeing I'm just seeing uh just basically scanty information here. What just comes to my mind, this person is not serious, he's not looking for a job. I'm not going to start disturbing myself, trying to contact you and uh, find out if you you can do what you say you're doing or if you're you are actually capable of what you claim to do. Let this game, this game of uh, what you need to understand about finding a job or getting a new job is that getting a new job is a job in itself. There's, there's a whole career around it. We call it headhunting. Companies pay recruiters to go and find people like you, skilled professionals like you to come to their company and when you get to their company, that's when they will pay the recruiter. So it's in the best interest of a recruiter to find someone for the company. Nobody is doing you, nobody is trying to be wicked to you, they do not want to uh, employ you or get you in. But because of you are not doing things the right way, you are already, you are useful, you are productive already, you have something you can offer, that is why they come for you. But because of you are not, you are not packaging yourself well. You're not arranging how your profile, you're not doing things the right way. That is why these things are not working out for you. That's why these jobs don't gel. That's why they don't even reach out to you. For those that they even reach out to and they eventually cancel it. But for them not even reaching out to you in the first place because of your profile is not optimized. Look at, I have posted, I posted two weeks ago. Look at my likes, the engagement is low. But if you check the views, look at the views from this, or my posts. Reactions, 260 views. People comment, people like, people like it's 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 very very straightforward process. Just to ensure that you have your you optimize your profile and you do the right thing that you should do. Put the relevant keywords and hashtags. Uh, put your featured posts on your profile, and then everything moves on from there. Because once they come here, you see. Um, let's assume I'm a copywriter and I put something like. Uh, I, I helped a business made five fifty thousand dollars in uh, daily revenue, and this is how I did it. Okay, I am someone that is uh, have a company. And I want to start making fifty thousand dollars. I click on it and I read it. Well, okay, well this person is something interesting, and I send you a, a connection request. I read your post about uh, helping this business. Uh, scale and make uh, $50,000 in revenue. My business is so related to this business and I would like you to actually work on it and do this and do that. Before you 
things you you already at the table because what I can do for you and what Automatic tries to do for you is bring you to the table. The rest is up to you. He was trying to get access to these people, trying to get access to this kind of uh, uh, connection, to so this kind of, of engagement requires constant hammering, constant hammering at the world, sending requests, sending requests, sending job applications. What Automatic does is get you past those restrictions directly in front of the person that is going to hire you. I mean, you'll be talking to the CEO of an organization on chat, a billionaire, you'll be chatting with them on chat, on LinkedIn chat, and everything is moving smoothly because it gets you past all the bullshit that normal people are going through while trying to get to a job. So concerning this featured page, you need to set up a featured page right. Look at what I put on my featured page. As you've seen at the top, I told you guys that I'm interested in fintech, gaming, and web three. The first thing here is this my crypto mobile wallet app. That's the first thing. Crypto mobile wallet app design that I am I, I, I set up and I put it there. Like, when you come there, okay, guys, actually you can create uh, crypto mobile wallets, whatever, whatever. If you're interested in it, make some beauty mobile app though. I'm not only interested in crypto, I can diversify. Next, next one, a gaming map. I told you from the beginning, I'm interested in crypto gaming fintech. Next, move on, to the currency NFT landing page. What else? It's you're already flowing with the person that is looking at your page. Okay, wow, wow, wow. In fact, they start to be in awe of you. you know, there's sometimes that you want to buy something from someone, but when you realize how much of a big deal this person is, you say you start feeling Normally, you want to price it from 300 naira to 200 naira, but once you see that this person is actually rolling with the likes of dollar, then go thing. If person call it 300 naira for you, you pay it like that. So this all this kind of things, all this kind of optimization gives you a kind of psychological edge over whom, whoever is going to recruit you and when you're making negotiations for your salary. So please ensure that your your profile is up to date and up to par on your LinkedIn. It's very, very necessary. The next one is the activity. See, contact is king. Everything you're doing in this life, every kind of job you're applying for, you're not applying to be a designer. You're not applying to be a developer. You're not applying to be uh, a product manager. No, that's not what you're here to do. What you're here to do is sell yourself. And in selling yourself, you're selling your services. So you need to know how to sell yourself. And you're selling yourself on LinkedIn by creating content. Create content about things that you do. Create content about things that you're interested in. I know it's boring. See, it's, if it's me, I don't, I don't like to write things that is not, that is not really, really profitable to me. It was long ago that I used to do stuff like that. So, but I know this thing is actually necessary because people that come uh, on LinkedIn and see your content, they engage with you. You build yourself as an authority in their heads. Whenever they are going through LinkedIn and you say, oh, they are talking with their friends and person say something about, ah, I need someone that will, that can help me design this product. I need someone that can help me uh, create the copy for my. For my pro for my product, I need this. I need that. I need this. I need that. So the next thing that will come to their head is that wow, I know someone. I know Osage uh, is on LinkedIn. He actually creates free content, like very very nice stuff. You should go and talk to him. You know, you, you can create make a deal with him. For instance, someone even contacted me I think three or four days ago. Uh, asking me about my crypto Twitter account, or like, do you, you still run your Twitter, crypto Twitter account? I did not message him, I did not say anything. But because of this, that I post regularly on my crypto Twitter account, and that I'm active with, I post screenshots on WhatsApp. He, when he was in contact with someone that was looking for an NFT influencer, that someone that would help him post and retweet and do stuff, the first thing that came to mind was me, and he reached out to me. That's exactly how it's going to work for you by creating yourself as a brand in the head of in the heads of people to so create content, create relevant and useful content to people. You do not; it does not even have to be original. Just create something. You can even reference the person that you created, that you got the quotes from, or you got the the uh, the useful item from, and just put them there. Put something there. You might not see likes, you might not see engagement, you might not see views, but just keep doing it. Keep doing it every day, over and over and again. Whenever comes from comes to your profile and they see this content, they're like, yes, this person is on a, on a trajectory. This person has been posting things or has been mainly in this field of work, in this line of work for a particular period of time. So it's necessary to create content. Also, I look at, I created content about my illustrations, I created content about UX design, I created content about me even going back to the basics and uh, doing foundation of user experience design and completing those courses. So it's all some things that, these are all things that you need to, you need to work on and you need to uh, ensure that it shows up in your profile. So the next section that we're going to talk about is the about, the about section. Um, 
depending on the kind of role you apply for, depending on the kind of skill you offer, it's best to just tailor what you put here to that particular um, category. For instance, if you're talking about your copywriter or your marketer, please write what it is that you can do on that page. LinkedIn, and I'm sure you've heard this before, LinkedIn is not for the thing that we're not looking for someone that is humble. We're looking for someone that says, uh, yeah, okay, sir, okay. No, you are here to boast. Like, boast, boast, like, like a child of God, like you boast properly. See, I did this, I did that, I did this. You, you, you say, it. don't try to minimize what you can do or what you have done. You have to explain, let people know that this is what you're capable of. Don't try to uh, cover it up. Look at what I'm putting here. For the last five years, I've been successfully uh, helping clients to design, launch, and improve digital products for different industries and sectors. I have focused on money-making products, not buzzing features. I'm letting you see, I'm here to make you money. I'm not here to help you designing and put posting designs on Twitter to be getting into the likes and you will not still have money, you will not still get job. I've never even gotten a job on Twitter, but I get jobs on LinkedIn. As I, I, I even do not post most of my work on Twitter anymore. All that place is just about noise and buzzing, buzz, 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 buzz. So people get jobs from there, but very few people get jobs from there. But on LinkedIn, you will always, because LinkedIn is where people come to get jobs. This is where people come to make uh, professional networks. So you need to understand what you're doing on this place. The second paragraph, I, I've, already ex I've already introduced myself. This is what I've been doing for the last five years. How do I do what I do? I perform my tasks by asking proper questions, using suitable design frameworks and development methods, constantly keeping in mind the profitability of the business. These are all, to be honest with you, if you don't know anything about UI, you can do it. All this place will just sound like jargon to you. But, what a recruiter or someone that into UI and UX will understand from reading the second paragraph is that these are UI UX keywords. Let me count them for you. The first one is this design framework. This is a UI keyword. Development method UX. You move on to the uh, user's needs. These are UX uh, keywords. You move on to uh, data-driven design. UX, UX, UI and UX keywords. Uh, they will move on to product performance is also part of UX, how the product performs and how everything, like these are UI UX keywords. So someone that is in coming into this uh, profile and looks at all these kind of things, they're like, okay, 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 it starts to ring, it starts to ring in your head that this person actually knows what he's saying. So you have to, the way you, you present yourself to these people is going to depend on if they're going to approach you or even at least do, make the first step in showing that you can apply for this kind of job. We'll send you links. The third paragraph, the kind of person I am. This is introducing about what I have done, what I can do, and uh, the kind of person I am. I'm a flexible quick learner who can be even faster, adapting to the changing business needs and environment. That is, you are telling them that, uh, in fact, I don't need to spend months to catch up with whatever they are doing in your business. Immediately you bring in, I'm ready to go. I will hit the ground running. I also offer unexpected creativity and imagination. Like throw some things in the air, put it, make it, it's, make it sweet to read, make it interesting, make it, make it nice. So that's how the about should be. There are different kind of structures that you can use for about as a copywriter, as a marketer, as a UI designer, product designer, and whatever rules that you're doing out there. If you even want to work as a customer care agent, customer care assistant, you can do that. There are other hacks that you can use to do this for about, which are all included in the automatic guide. Now move on to the experience. This experience section, what a recruiter is looking for when they come in, they're not looking for explanations or stories that uh, my mommy this, my mommy that, or any kind of, uh, I work as a designer here, I work, no. What you're looking for is a career trajectory path, a career trajectory, what have you been doing? Where are you coming from? Where are you going? Look at this. It's not as if I've not done more jobs than this. I've done a lot. In fact, if I want to put the kind of jobs that I can put here, I have worked as a, a waiter at weddings. I can put it here. It's experience, but it's not relevant. It's not relevant experience. Go to your profile and move forward to the relevant experience. Nobody cares. Even if your experience is just two or three, put them there. You don't need all these unnecessary experiences in your profile, please. So just remove them out. You can see here, I worked. From 2018, user experience consultant, product designer on Conversity. I, I uh, did took a course on Pexos. We are also participated in creating projects. So you write what the, the role you uh, partake in and uh, what you did there. Look at here, Firstborn, which is the brand, which has been run as a freelance agency since 2019. Work with several brands on Upwork, Fiverr, and freelance jobs. 
that involve full brand design, product design, landing page design, user experience, like let them know what it is that you do. My current role, this is, I work in two organizations, I only put one of them here, where I worked as a UI UX designer initially, and now I work as a product designer in the company. So there's no way you will come to my profile and say that, okay, this person has actually been coming down on this UI UX career path for quite a while. Even though I didn't even actually go fully into UI UX until very recently, I think early last year or the last, last two years, I did not go, I did not actually focus because I was doing other things like marketing, copywriting, and lead generation. So I'm talking too fast, we do not have much time, so I'm trying to uh, get this rounded up as fast as possible so that we cover everything in the video. So you put in your education, your license and certifications. I have over 10 certifications from Udemy on marketing. I have just two from Google on user experience design and I have three from Skillshare. They are all in this place. Then we move on to your skills. Uh, another thing we're going to do, we're going to do, uh, I think you should start posting your link, your LinkedIn links in the chat section. So everyone in the chat section is going to go to your LinkedIn and endorse you for skills. So while we are all here, so let's just help each other to endorse each other for skills, at least gain something from this meeting. So post your LinkedIn uh, link in the chat and I will go there and endorse you. Put your top three skills that you want to show on your profile. So my top three skills I want to show is my user interface design, my product design and the use of Figma on my profile. So put yours, are you a copywriter? You put copywriting, marketing, landing page design, email automation. Just put the top three I want to put there, whatever skills that you do. Just drop your link in the chat. I'll copy them and I will go and uh, I will go and uh, the, uh, endorse you for those skills. So you can start dropping your links and also drop your questions so that I can attend, I can attend to the questions when I am done. Uh, someone just said, uh, where did I take my UX certificate course? Most of my learning about UI UX was online, YouTube, and uh, I took from Coursera. If you want to register on Coursera for UI UX or any kind of course you want to do, use your student's email. I'm the email, for instance, the one I used when I was in the University of Ibadan was Gideon, blah, 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 at studio.ui.edu.ng. So use your student's email. If you use your student's email to sign up for Coursera, they will allow you to take these course, courses for free. Like it's amazing the kind of material you can have access to just because you are a student. So the fact that you suffered in Nigeria as a student, or the fact that you're suffering in whatever country you are, don't let this go away because they are giving you the opportunity to use your student uh, emails to access this kind of amazing, amazing, amazing courses. Like, it's as if you're going to the university, especially that user experience course. It's so broad, it's so wide. If you're done with it, you do not need to go to a university because with that kind of certification, you can get employed even at Google. So drop your links. I'm going to uh, click on everyone's links and go and endorse them. Please start dropping your questions, like I attend to your questions as we have uh, less than 20 minutes. We have about 15 minutes left, so. Start dropping your questions, we start dropping them, start dropping them. And uh, I will attend to everyone. So this is addicted to Mubarak. No, 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 no. This is not good. This is not good. My brother, you need to, you need to, you need to, you need to change this profile picture. I beg, please, please change this profile picture. Change the header. All the things we've talked about today, please start, uh, start implementing them. I've connected with you and, uh, and then those your skills. Good, good. Copywriting. And those skills. Oh. This one is not with those you know. So oh. it's not working. <laughs> Bro. I think you need to I think until I connect with you, that oh. that's when it's going to work. Okay. okay. So maybe when you accept the connections, then I can connect. Let me find someone else and um, maybe I'm probably connected with Flavel VJS and PHP. Like these are amazing skills. See, see, so many things you can do with these skills. Like some people are looking for you. People are looking for this kind of skills. Like you will be surprised the way these recruiters they are thirsty. For talent, like what let them see what you're doing, let them see what you can do, and you will see how they will rush you. You just have to just know the right way to present yourself to them. You have to know the right way to you know run things with them. 
for instance now when they come to when they come to me and talking about okay blah 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 i think i should even have some messages like that i think i should have some messages like that let me check let me check i should have some messages like that some recent ones that would message me and be saying that uh, please apply for this please apply for this please apply for this there's even one that even sent me a message recently offering me uh offering me stake in his company a two percent share just for me to work as a UIX designer. So you just it depends on how you present yourself for these kind of things coming. So it depends on how you present yourself for this kind of thing and they will send you the links, the links to apply. For instance now, let me open it up. So look at this one. It's a pleasure to meet you. Could you please share some of your work to so better understand how we can compete in the future? Nothing, nothing. Look at this one. You sent me link, blah blah, start to connect. You are a payment industry, whatever. I say sounds interesting. I browse your work and see the stable for us. I look for your design and put it it's like so many like that. I get like say, what percentage are you offering? Said they are offering two percent revenue share, and the company is going to be making more than forty million dollars a year. The only reason why I do not want to work with them is because the kind of gaming company they are running the kind of betting platform, and the kind of betting platform they are running is based on animal cruelty. They are running a betting platform with chickens. They will put a razor blade on the mouth of these chickens, and then they will, they will put them cockfights. They call them cockfights. They fight against each other. So the most those chickens will fight to the death, and the person that bets on whichever chicken wins carries the money. So I'm not really interested in. in getting into that kind of uh, job so i just like flash the guy so you get so many offers you get so many so many opportunities you get so many opportunities and offers from optimizing the LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a gold mine of opportunities it's a massive gold mine so here we have osla okoli yes okay very very nice profile picture but you do not have a header a header is necessary you need to put a header out. um user interface so this is all hey jesus christ it's a user interface and experience and with about two years of design experience just a graphic illustrator okay okay no problem shall see feature you need more featured you need more featured products here yeah, you need more featured you have to uh scroll through your feature and see all the things you've done so have seven followers very nice, very nice. Product designer, product designer, product designer. This is a very good career track. It's a very good career track. Although it's within a short period, 2021 to 2020, but it's still something that shows that you've been invested and there's no, there's no unnecessary, uh, unnecessary experiences here. You move education, or say skills, product design, illustration. I'm not connected with you yet. So please, I'm sending you guys connection. Please accept the connection so I can endorse you. Although, when I'm, once I'm done, I will also, once I'm done, I will also uh, check out, I've copied all the links from the chats. You can also send me connection requests. My name is Awolis to give you on LinkedIn. So I'll copy all the chats and uh, I will. Hello, Easy. <laughs> so yeah, uh, let me start attending to the questions that we, we uh, I'm seeing here. The first one is your LinkedIn account registered as a Nigerian. Yes, I was on LinkedIn before I left the country. I was registered as a Nigerian. What I just did when I got here is to change my location. That okay, I'm no more in Nigeria. I'm now in Europe. I've been getting offers even when I was in Nigeria. So it did not change anything. In fact, as of 2019, I was using LinkedIn to generate leads for company. That's when I was working at LinkedIn in Europe. I would help big businesses like solar and those that sell boats and sell cars and motors. I'll help them find clients. And when I bring them clients, they pay me a percentage as commission, the way headhunters work and the way recruiters work. That's what I was doing for companies and agencies. So I have been using it for a long time and I have known how to use it for a long time. In fact, in 2019, I created the first automatic course, which had over 13,000 students on them it's there over 13,000 students so it's it's something that LinkedIn have been doing for a while but this recent hack this recent uh, method I started using it helps to get applications in fast it helps to get responses fast and it does the job faster so that's why I said just release this one as well 
So any other questions, please drop your questions. Why do you take a US certificate for free? I think I've answered that. I took it on Coursera. So um other question. Uh my top skills are Laravel, Vue.js. I'm a, you can't say connect button my profile. That probably means that we are already friends, I think. What's wrong? Oh, I think I've exceeded the amount of people I can connect with. So maybe you just probably have to do uh follow or something i don't know maybe it's something that has to do with my profile section but i sent you a connection request you should be able to accept the connection request that i sent i sent the connection request i don't know it's not going to i i sent you a connection request okay it's just pending now it's just pending so once you accept the connection request, then you can move on to the next stage. So yeah, this video for those that were not able to attend, and for those that came, here, this video will be uploaded for, on the place that you registered at. Uh, it's going to be uploaded so you can accept the video. Next time, you can be able to uh, check out all the things that we discussed today and optimize your profile accordingly. For those that are registered for the automatic and paid for the course, it's dropping on Saturday and it's going to be bombed. It's not so long so that it does not distract you from the main thing, but it contains very, very cogent things. So connect you directly to the assets that you need. So uh, we'll be bringing this meeting to a close in a couple of minutes. If you have your questions, this is the time to ask these questions. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you uh, some websites that you can find resume because you also need a resume you need to upload your resume to your LinkedIn profile so that when those people actually ask you for the resume or when you're trying to apply for jobs you can be able to use your resume automatically to apply for those jobs so these are the places that you can get resume you can use resume.com zeti.com you do not need them to, you need to pay anybody to get resume although i use a specific kind of uh, resume which doesn't even involve using any pdf i just send them a particular link and it works for me uh, you can use Novo Resume. This was the Novo, Novo Resume that we were using before. Before I created my custom method of using Resume to apply for jobs. Fresh Resume, EnhanceCV.com, and Canva. Even Canva itself has the custom Resume function. So just copy these links. Let me paste them in the chat section so you can have access to them. Okay. Okay, okay. So these are the places that you can get your resume. You need to get your resume top left. Please use a good profile picture on your LinkedIn. Let's just one small thing spoil the whole uh, the whole process of you getting a job. There are so many offers, so many, so many. There was one I even spoke to that I wanted me to work, but because of the salary I was even offering was not up to the salary I was currently in. Because I work from home and uh, I can work two jobs, three jobs at the same time because I'm doing everything from home. And basically, they can be paying the same salary. So, in fact, if I'm getting like 3K from here, 3K from here, 3K from here, that's 9K a month. That's more than what the senior product designer is getting. This is some specific places, especially in Europe. So, uh, some of them send me requests that, uh, or send me messages that they want me to work on a project. But once it's not up to my current salary, I just reject them. So there are lots of opportunities. I'm telling you, so many. So many. In fact, those that are going to see the automatons and they will see the kind of messages I get. I'm going to show everything out. So, so many opportunities on LinkedIn that you should not, you should not, uh, you should not, uh, should not skip. So how can one write a good cover letter? Yeah, cover letter should. I have a custom template for cover letter, which I included in the automatic course. And for you to write your own good cover letter, it does not need to be necessarily complex. Right? It's basically how your LinkedIn. Uh, LinkedIn profile works. <laughs> I don't know if I can work. Okay, that's true. That's true. That's true. Well, those that are in that are in the first one that would have got the automatic course, like I said before, I'm going to start posting the links to the roles that I do not take and to other roles that I cannot take because of my uh, uh, how busy I am and other things like that. So I'm going to start posting them in the first one that will as for next week. 
So what advice do you have for someone in digital marketing? And since there are various categories in digital marketing, you can want to get a job as yes, you can get get a job as a digital marketer. But the problem is that you have to specify, you have to specialize. You cannot just call yourself a digital marketer. What exactly can you do as a digital marketer? Is it more Facebook ads? Then you call yourself a Facebook digital marketer. Are you uh, good at email automations? Then you call yourself uh, an email specialist. Are you good at uh, uh, Google ad, like you have to specialize in these kind of things. It's very, very necessary to specialize. Specialization is important. You can, like I said, I, like I say a lot on my profile on WhatsApp, that uh, jack of all trades only has to master one. It's something that you must be good at. You can know a lot of things, but you have to be good at one. As for me, the thing I'm good at is product design. I can illustrate. Although I'm also even learning 3D design as well, but I can illustrate, I can do user research, I can uh, do motion design. But what I am good at is product design. So all this is like how it's said in the Bible, like do do this, do this, and all other things can, shall be added onto you. So you need to specialize on one thing and then use the others as extras to boost up what you already need. So we're looking at Mr. Apollo Kingsley. Looks nice, uh, bio looks okay. Uh, though this picture could be better, it could be better, yes. This, this is not a secondary school picture. Uh, he, he looks weird. <laughs> so please change the picture, use something more professional. Open to work, yes, let the recruiters know that you're open to work. Get the banner here, let's see. Uh, please don't put one year and five months experience, just put two years there. And uh, blah, blah. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, your, your your profile is detailed. Your profile is detailed. Okay, your future looks nice. No, nice, nice, nice. It looks like this guy has been checking my LinkedIn profile. Move down to experience UI designer, founder. Okay, okay, the designer. Okay, okay, okay. You know, the, the, the problem with this is that when a recruiter comes in, they will know that you are a new they will know you are an entry level designer because your roles are too close together. Your roles are everything between 2021. 20, and 2022. The rules are too close together. So you need someone with more experience. So try to reduce these rules. You don't let it be too much because the rest of that you're just doing, 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 doing. You reduce the rules. And uh, let's see how it moves from there. Your banking and finance, university. Okay, fine, fine. Let's see the skills. Responsible design, product designer, and you are your designer. Okay. These are things that we need to. We need to do. We have one minute left. So. Uh, so I guess we're going to be rounding up now. Yeah, you can get the custom students in their websites online. Now you can get the custom students in there. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So that's the end of this uh, of this session. Thank you guys for coming. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Uh, for those that already start for this course and those that signed up, I'm going to send you emails with some freebies. And do not forget to use those resume periods I sent to you. I'll see you guys. Uh, Good luck and I wish you success in your applications. Peace out.